Good morning, YouTube. Well, we're moving right along on this project. I just thought I'd show a little bit of video and give you an update to the uh, Park Model Trailer Rebuild. And here's where we are. My brother came into town a couple days ago and he's helping me out, helping my dad and I finish this floor up. We're standing in the kitchen got the refrigerator rolled into place and it's on top of flooring new flooring that board right there is going to become a wall and it's going to go clear to the ceiling and then back here in the hallway we've got two more boards one on this side and one on this side of the fresh air return those are both going to end up being walls that go to the ceiling and then there'll be shelves and that's the pantry area will be the pantry area and then again this will all be boxed in with a couple of doors for uh, more storage like she keeps her vacuum cleaner and brooms and s that type of thing in that location but we got the floor in there I'm standing in the doorway of the bathroom got the door on the bathroom the bathroom is finished we got all of the caulking finished around the sink got the uh, trim put in the bathroom across the front of the tub and siliconed they've been using the shower and the full bathroom and everything it's been working out really nice we're just trying to get this floor finished we're gonna hopefully finish the flooring this morning there's the heater vent in one of the cabinets let me back up and kind of show you the cabinets we got those installed yesterday my dad and brother and I got those put in got a 36 inch double sink vanity with a couple of doors on the bottom And the plumbing is roughly put through the floor there. We still need to work on the drain pipes and stuff. And we need to get our knobs put on these doors. This door needs to be turned around. We're going to reverse its direction so it opens from the other side. Nice big storage there for pots and pans. Got a drawer here and then a three drawer over here. Way back when we started this project, I was originally thinking that we were going to be doing a Lazy Susan in this corner, but I was completely wrong. There is no way a Lazy Susan will fit in this corner. This is just the way this, this trailer is designed. And this, is the, this is the best way we could put this together. So that's just going to be dead space, unfortunately. They don't make a corner cabinet that's usable because this opening right here where we're keeping all of our tools is where the the uh, stove and oven fit right up underneath the the vent. So that's and of course you got the 220 plug for that. There's no other way to put the stove in here. So but originally in this box is where the original hot water tank was stored um, of course we've moved that outside the trailer and that's where all the problems began there was some water lines that came through the floor to feed the hot water tank that had sharp bend in it and that's where the leak happened so it's unfortunate that we're gonna lose that space but they never had that space to begin with but do you like the cabinets I love them kind of a nice rustic feel of like a log cabin and they match the uh, existing ones as closely as we could I've, obviously they're not a direct match but that's what we had to choose from that's the best we could come up with and I think it'll be fantastic we'll put a nice countertop on there and then a little piece of countertop to cover this one right before you go down the hallway and then this corner piece was given to us 
it was salvaged from another trailer and it had paneling and stuff so my mom and dad um, sand, I don't know if they sanded it but they painted it yesterday with the same color as the rest of the kitchen and uh, it's just setting in place we're actually going to put the flooring underneath it and then set that cabinet down on top of the flooring but we've got half of the kitchen to complete this the rest of the kitchen area here around the cabinets underneath this one then across the front door we've got to move this stuff out of the way but you can see where we're at got all of the heater vents are got new flooring around them and that's a good feeling to be done with those and then all the way across the outer perimeter will be some trim to cover the gap that's left for, so that as this floor expands and contracts with temperature changes it'll just have a nice piece of trim and you'll never even see the expansion maybe some touch-up paint here and there but uh, we've got just enough we were doing the calculations last night trying to figure out if we have enough boxes left of the flooring material to finish it and I think we just barely have enough to do it this section right here there's going to be a wall right by the uh, refrigerator and then that that area underneath the window is originally where the dining table sits and a couple of chairs and then the couch so this is just temporary they may or may not leave it this way we'll see but we've just wanted to move as much furniture onto the finished flooring that we could so we have room to work over here and finish up the floor we did tear out the existing carpet and padding that was underneath the front you can see the line right here this is uh, where the flooring has been replaced and from here to that wall luckily was undamaged so that's all the uh, original subfloor but it had carpet and padding on it that we took out it was real dirty and dusty from all the construction and of course we're replacing it with uh, my mom's lovely laminate wood flooring which just coming out fantastic I'm really pleased with with how that looks but Anyway, my brother's in town. Picked him up from the airport a couple of nights ago. He's coming out here from Colorado and giving us a hand for a few days. And our goal today is to finish this, finish the flooring. And then it's on to countertops. And uh, pretty darn close to being finished. We still got a week, week's worth of work or so probably <clears throat> total. And that's again that's just a guess but I uh, wanted to give you guys an update I'll throw on a barrage of pictures at the end of this video showing some some more uh, pictures of the progress as we've gone through this this uh, rebuild and uh, boy my parents are sure happy it's working out real nice they're they're loving the new colors and the new floor and the new cabinets my mom really seems to like the cabinets so far of course she hasn't used them she just seen them and she picked them out so anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you're all doing well have yourself a good day and we'll see you on the next one